Dumpa. And it, we decided on this for multiple reasons. Um, to start off, the issues were runoff, so nutrient and sediment loading in the lake, and the force of water, like the volume of water that was coming in through off the streets and through the campgrounds in multiple um, areas. Now, we decided to place it here specifically because um, there were, we had rerouted some of the water um, upland so that the majority of the flow should go through this region now. Um, historically, Tanampas are were created by the Aztecs. Super awesome, increased surface area for planting, um, minimal watering because it's in the water, um, and nutrients because you've got all the critters doing their business in the water, so you're getting that nutrient. Um, so no fertilizing or minimal fertilizing and uh, no to minimal watering. Um, I'm trying to think about something else here. So a couple of principles that we did cover with this was um, value the edges, right? Because you're increasing planting surface area by creating land. Um, so through a layer of logs and dirt and sawdust and hay, we've created this kind of peninsula to stick out. Um, so it's gonna slow the water as it comes in. And then you have plenty of these filtering plants out front. Um, many of them natives, most of them edible, um, and some of them decorative. But they'll filter the nutrients, slow down that water, the sediment will drop, and then it won't be ruining the lake. Um, that cloud looks really nasty. I'm just saying I can see it, and it's making me nervous. <laughs> so, so wow. yeah. I don't know what else you want me to say right now because I don't want us to be struck by lightning. <laughs> I feel you. Chris and the Chinampa, why not? It's Armageddon out there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, some downfalls to it is that I don't think that it's, we could have made it, extended it a little bit, but this is only phase one out of two. Eventually there will be a second Chinampa um, that will help serpentine the water through to really slow it down and catch it. Um, and then more why planting space. Why did you choose the plants you chose? Oh, because they like wet feet. They're edible. They absorb nutrients really well. And so they're multifunctional, right? So trip pollinator attractors, all this other stuff. <laughs> I, I just, it's really scary. Yes, let's get